Cash Amoda here at my Golf Rehab Research Center in Charlottetown, PEI at the Mount Academy. Thanks, Paul Jenkins, for allowing us to use your space. For the past decade, in addition to building Swing Balance AI shaft fitting systems, I've been working on developing certification programs uh, for golf pressure mapping and for professional golf specific training. Ran into a fellow named Jeff Donis a few years back, loved his energy and passion for training. And Jeff's developed what's called the Atom System Activate the Optimal Muscles. So the one thing you're gonna hear from a lot of touring pros when they retire is if I could go back and do it again, Terry, I wish I wouldn't hit so many golf balls. The number one way to gain distance is to get pressure to the lead side early, have the strength and stability to be able to hold it there, because that's true. That, that's, that's our bottom line in terms of all the years of working pressure mapping with body track and seeing it from players all over the world. The guys that hit it the furthest, they got pressure to the lead side early and they were asymmetrical, they had the strength and stability to keep the pressure on that lead side and it impact. And to avoid injuries, there's proper ways of doing that too and you need to line the joints up. Mark Sheftek was one of the first guys that ever brought that to my attention. But it's true, when you see guys lined up backwards at impact, their spinal alignment's tilted, et cetera, and, and they're gonna get hurt. Follow me on this journey as we enter into the winter, you know, 229 after 40 years of traveling, gotta lose 30 pounds, gotta change a lot of eating habits, get on the nutrition, gotta, you know, get some better rest, et cetera. We know all those things are important and they're vital, but we also have to train properly. And Golf Rehab is a certification program for pressure mapping and for training, SOP training. And so our goal is to connect physical therapists, occupational therapists, uh, sports trainers, medical practitioners to professional golf training. Uh, there isn't a lot of this type of activity in the market. Sure. What we're going to do is try to connect the dots to an even greater extent by using non-conventional, non-contact training. So follow me on this journey because you've got nothing to do in the winter. And if you, our goal is, because guys like me are not going to go to the gym that frequently. I mean, like, this is my uh, gym attire as far as I'm concerned, a t-shirt and whatever pants I got on plus the shoes. I'll put my spare shoes on when I'm actually hitting balls. But, and you know, talking to Puggy Blackman from University of South Carolina, uh, working with Prisma Health, Puggy has developed what's called Train to Trust, which is an unbelievable system, which is also uh, focusing on making, hitting less actual shots in the winter. I'd love to be able to go to a simulator and be able to train with these amazing tools that Jeff Dantas and Swing Balance have developed. It's amazing. And I want to get, and I'm only really interested in distance gain and tighter dispersion. Now, what we've learned through pressure mapping, we've shared with Jeff Dantas, and he has put this all into one really cool called the Atom, activate the optimal muscles, and we have a golf dance system as well. And we're gonna be selling memberships to the golf rehab program for pressure mapping certifications and SOP training shortly. But right now, I just want to, if you're interested, follow me on this journey. We're gonna show you a lot of neat ways to train in non-contact ball methods to reduce risk of you know, high velocity shots, hitting constantly high velocity shots. We're interested in the ankles, we're interested in the alignment of the joints, we're interested in all aspects of the anatomy, including your hands. They have a significant role in how we shape the shot eventually, correct? So, Terry Hashimoto, Long Speech, out, but thanks so much for all this. See ya, bye.